What you're looking at here is my category sales report and I've got my products grouped by their categories here. So the products for the accessories, then for the fort tent, screen tent, and so on. And then the total for each category. What I would like to do is I'd like to insert a chart at the end of the report that has the totals for each category, maybe like a pie chart. Now to insert a chart, I need a table or query of data that I can base this chart upon. And I do, I've got one over here. It's my categories uh, total query, double click on that. And I've got the total for each category, so I can go ahead and insert the pie chart based upon this query here. And you can see right off the bat that the fort tent's going to have the largest slice. But in any case, I want to go ahead and put that at the end of my report. So when I print it off, I can hand it out to the coworkers at the meeting, and they can go ahead and graphically see how well fort tent is doing in comparison with the others. Let me go ahead and close out. Right-click in a blank area. Go to the design view. And then which section am I going to be inserting this pie chart into? to get it at the end of the report, well it's going to be right here, report footer, as opposed to at the end of the page, the page footer, at the end of the category, or at the end of the product. So to go ahead and insert this, I'm going to go ahead and have to expand this grid open in the report footer section by hovering over the bottom of the grid until I can see my pointer turning into black arrows pointing up and down, then I can go ahead and click and drag that to stretch it open, give me more room. Then to insert the chart, come up here on the design tab to the controls group, click on the more button, and choose the chart control, click on it, and then bring it down. Go ahead and click on it to add the chart, and then it brings up the wizard. It'll ask us a bunch of questions. We give it answers based upon our answers. It'll create that chart. The first question is, is which table or query would you like to use to create your chart with, or that you want to base this chart upon that data? Is it going to be data within the table? It's going to be within the query. And there it is, the uh, Q for query, and then tote for total categories. So the categories total query, go ahead and click Next. And then it says which fields contain the data that you want to see in the chart. Well, it's both the category names and their corresponding sales. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the button here, which brings over all of them, and then click Next. Okay, which chart do we want? Do we want a 3D pie or a 2D? Let's select 2D. And then click Next. And it says, okay, do you want to go ahead and preview your chart based upon where the uh, data is being laid out? Category up here, sum of total sales down here. Let's go ahead and click Preview. That looks good. There we go. Fort Tent. It's got the biggest slice. Close. Now, this is a pretty simplistic chart. If you had a column chart or a bar chart, something a little bit more detailed, you can change these up. You can go ahead and say, okay, the category I don't want up there. I want down here. So go ahead and click and drag it. Dump it there and then flip it around. Total sales up here. And then before you go ahead and click finish, you want to preview it because ugh, that doesn't look good. Having the numbers here for our value series. So let's go ahead and close out and then flip that around, category goes back up here, and total sales goes back down there. And then click preview, and there we go. I like the legend the way it is here, as opposed to the other way. Let's click close, click next, and then it says if you want the chart to change from record to record, in other words, this is at the end of the report, this is the summary of it. I don't have a chart for each category or each product that will be changing, so I can leave as is or just say no field, leave it alone, click next. And then what title do we want to give to our chart? Well, it's going to be the quarter one. And then do you want the chart to display a legend? Of course. Go ahead and click finish. And then as you scroll down, it gives us a generic view of the chart to let us know that, well, this is a chart. We won't actually see the details of it until we go to print preview. So let's go ahead and right click, go to print preview. Remember, it's at the end of the report. So I have to come down here in the record navigation bar, click on the last page, and there it is at the very end. Of course, if it's a bit small, you can always go ahead and right-click, go back to the design view, and scroll down here and hover over one of these corner handles to resize it. Let me click and drag at the bottom of the grid to stretch it open more. And Let's see if we can make it kind of mammoth here. And then right-click, Report View. Whoops, let's go to Print Preview. Go to the end. That's a bit bigger. Looks good. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.